This video is brought to you by 3, bringing you 4G at no extra cost. Hey guys, welcome to BTECT. It's Basil here with an iPhone 6 and a Sony Xperia Z3. The iPhone 6 and Z3 both have digital image stabilization. The digital image stabilization on the 6 performs as well as the optical image stabilization on the 6 Plus, or at least almost as. You can watch our video to see a side by side of those two. How does it stack up against the digital image stabilization or steady shot on the Sony Xperia Z3? Well, historically, the Xperia Z3s performed very well with things like walking, for example like what we're doing now and even more rigorous activity so we can bounce a little bit as we walk maybe get a skip in our step right there and if gauging by what's going on on the screen is anything to go by the 6 looks like it's shaking a little bit more than the Z3 now we can actually force some shake into the scene by firstly moving left to right quickly and it looks pretty static on the Sony Xperia Z3. Now we can twist from left to right quickly. And finally, up and down. So yeah, gauging by what's going on on the screen, the Xperia Z3 looks to be doing the better job. Although, this may come through in the, on the iPhone in post. So we'll see the final clip to confirm that. Now we're going to test out how these two cope with zooming. Zooming is another big part of image stabilization. So we'll zoom in on the same element and the Sony Xperia Z3 can actually get a little bit closer with digital zoom than the iPhone. So let's get them to around the same point, maybe a little bit closer. And you can see right there, they both seem to have locked focus on what we're trying to go for, which is a branch. So the Sony Xperia Z3 is maybe creeping a little bit more forward and back. Now let's check out the wall. The image stabilization on the Z3 does look better though, though the focus isn't quite as on point. Zooming all the way in so you can see exactly how far the Z3 can go. And there's, you can really see that focus creep ever so slightly. Pulling out all the way, we can now test out macro so both of these phones focus automatically continuous autofocus we can pull in closer to see the closest focal range naturally these two phones nice wide open apertures and obviously a lot of software in there producing some very decent background blur as you can see pulling in even closer and that is a really good illustrative um, demonstration that the phones perform well close up but as you move away from the macro object and towards the background which one's going to lose focus first well it's the iphone fortunately for the iphone though if we did want to stay on that foreground it has tap to focus so um, the xperia doesn't what the iphone also has is tap to expose now just gauging by what we see on the screen as far as color accuracy goes neither are perfect the actual branches look a little bit more yellow than either are showcasing though the iphone does look closer in terms of color accuracy to what i actually see right now now as far as exposure goes like i mentioned you can swipe up on the iphone tap a point and swipe up in order to make the scene brighter and and darker which is a really nice addition to iOS and one that we wouldn't mind seeing on Android. If we were to actually test exposure as far as what the sky offers by contrast to a dark scenario then you can see the Sony Xperia Z3 shifts uh, exposure a little bit more slowly than the iPhone 6 which would be better for example in flashing light environments in this instance though, it's much of a muchness, but both do a decent job. The Xperia, like we said, is just a bit slower off the mark. Finally, well, we can just really talk about what we see on the screen in terms of outdoor viewability, and both look very nice and bright. The Sony Xperia Z3 isn't quite as bright as the iPhone, it has to be said, and both are on max brightness, so the iPhone wins out for outdoor viewability. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, click that like button. Obviously, we've talked a lot in this, and that's to test out the microphones. Let us know what you think of the microphones, and of course, the videos in the comments section below. You can download the full res samples in the description. Click that media file link. Thanks for watching BTECT.